just for an equal. And this is what you find. Hello everyone, it's the Axel Shifter here, and today I'm going to be talking about something different. This would normally be a Multiverse Wars episode, but it's not for that series because I do want to do matchups that I personally think fit that series or ones that I just like more than this one. Not saying that this video or matchup is bad, it's just that I still want to talk about versus debating outside of the Multiverse War show, but with that out of the way, for this versus battle scenario, we're going to be having Kraven the Hunter from the Insomniac Spider-Man series versus the Seven from the Boy series. Now, this was heavily inspired by Crisis' video about Kraven where he fought against the Arkhamverse villains from Batman Arkham, so go check out that video when you're done with this one. Now it's time for the breakdown, but first we have to go over the rules. So firstly, we're going to be using the Seven from the Amazon series, not the comics. These members are Homelander, of course, A-Train, The Deep, Black Noir, Queen Maeve, Lamplighter, and Stormfront. No Starlight because she's a part of the boys now, technically, so I feel like that would be a little wrong to do that, you know, on her part, because, you know, she's way cooler with the boys instead of the Seven. And I may include some other characters that are not necessarily a part of the Seven, but just soups in general, but not all of them, mostly ones that are important to the story of the series. And for this scenario, the Seven will be replacing the Spider-Man villains from the Insomniac games as instead, the soups will be contained and then fortifying the arena that Kraven puts them in instead. And lastly, both the soups and the Hunter will be in their prime. So, now in this hypothetical fight, who will come out on top? first member that's going down is the deep because yeah he's really not that much when you get down to it other than being stronger than a normal person he really has nothing else going for him he does have the ability to breathe underwater and talk to sea life but pretty much nothing else besides that and also craven is just simply way stronger than him and he can exploit the deep's weakness that being his gills. His gills are on his stomach, and along with them being extremely sensitive, if anything goes inside of them, it would be extremely painful for him. So Craven could just use any of his sharp weapons to pierce his gills and just kill him right there. And Craven is the same guy who overpowered and killed Scorpion, clashed with a black suit Spider-Man, and held his own against Venom. So hence, this is an open and shut case for the Deep, because He's just going down instantly. Unless if he tries to sexually assault Craven, but yeah. Next, we have Black Noir. Now, he would pose a greater threat to Craven, considering that Noir is a very skilled fighter in his own right, and he's definitely more skilled than the Deep. But Craven is just simply on a whole nother level, because he has had extensive training and experience in hunting throughout most of his life. He's also a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat and is skilled in his use of his various different types of weapons that he has in Spider-Man 2 and also enhanced physical abilities that would give him an advantage over Black Noir during their battle. And additionally, he is known for his strategic intelligence way more than Black Noir's ever could and his unpredictable tactics, making him capable of killing all the villains from the previous Spider-Man game by Insomniac and making him a formidable opponent for Spider-Man. Now, Black Noir may have fought Kimiko before, and she is technically a soup considering that she is powered by Compound V, and she is extremely dangerous in her own right. And in the final episode of the Boys Diabolical series, he is even seen dodging and avoiding Homelander's heat vision and even outrunning and slightly outsmarting him. He's also a master of stealth, much like his Batman, you know, the Batman of the Boys. But sadly for Black Noir, Craven is just known for his superior senses and tracking abilities. He can also keep use of his keen animalistic instincts to locate and capture Black Noir at the target with his precision. So Noir may put up a better fight than the Deep, but Craven would still ultimately win and take the bag for himself. Next is Queen Maeve, and she is an interesting one because she is also a very skilled combatant when it comes to fighting, because she has been seen fighting multiple different men at once and can beat all of them without breaking a sweat. And even when one of them struck her, she basically just ignored it and just kept struggling on. 
and during her battle with Homelander at the end of Season 3, she was even powerful enough to even hold her own against him during her fight and even punched him so hard that he gave me nosebleed. However, Kraven's battle with Symbiote Spider-Man and Venom proves that he is much stronger than her. Next, once again, Kraven is a master at psychological manipulation and mind games, using intimidation and deception to gain the upper hand during his fights or killings, you could say. And if he were to able to exploit Queen Maeve's vulnerabilities or weaknesses or mainly your guess insecurities or stuff like that, he might be able to weaken her mentally during their battle. So in the end, once again, Craven wins. Along with the fact he's just way stronger, faster, and just way smarter and more experienced than her. Yeah, sorry, Queen Maeve, but you're going down too. They're the only one of the members of Seven I actually kind of like, but yeah. Now we have A Train. This is where Craven might have some trouble now because the black man is known for being a speedster and he was strong enough to destroy Robin's body by just running into it, meaning that he can exert extreme amounts of force when running at his top speed. Or maybe that wasn't his top speed or simply simply running, but still, he can't absolutely destroy you when just running into you. And he was also fast enough to leave, go to drugs, aka Compound V, and then come back during his race with Shockwave. And this proves that Reggie will be hard for Craven to hit because he is pretty fast. But if Craven plays his cards right, he could still come out victorious. Since the Hunter has better combat and reaction speeds, being able to react and kill Electro, meaning that basically Craven can't react to attacks moving that at the speed of lightning, basically, it's faster than lightning attacks, and meaning that he has hypersonic reaction speeds. So even in that category, A-Train would still fall short eventually in the fight. And while he may use Compound V, or at least abuse it to a greater extent because he, he's basically almost kind of not dying in this case, it's still likely that he would just get a heart attack similar to what happened in the show and just die, I guess. So that would be the end for the not fastest man alive. Lamplighter is without a doubt the coolest soup in the boys, in my opinion. His design when not retired is fucking awesome, and I just love the lamp he holds. It's just really cool. But for now, what he could do against Craven, in one scene in the show, Lamplighter is seen burning someone to ash. And in order to do that, you would need over 300 kilowatts of energy to do this. And converting that to joules, you get 1 gigajoule. And converting that, you get 0.24 tons of TNT, which is roughly small building levels. So, without even barely being in the show, he is already one of the most powerful members of the Seven. So, he could definitely do something here. But, once again, like I said, the only downside to that is that we don't really see him do much in the boys' TV series meaning that he has less feats than Craven, so Craven should at least still win with moderately low difficulty because still Craven is much faster and he has more weapons than Lamplighter's, well, Lamp. So Lamplighter is the one that's going to be getting cooked this time, most likely anyways. Stormfront might be the second hardest person for Craven to beat due to her abilities and also being a, well, Nazi, but... That shouldn't really be a factor. More her electric abilities, yeah. Or no, that's not it. Yeah, lightning blast. And she can also fly, so that's pretty good too. And that's all that said, there is a drawback to this. Her lightning blasts are powerful, no doubt, but almost all of the characters that are struck by it seem to get up pretty fine afterwards, like Starlight, the rest of the boys, and even Billy was struck by it once, and he is still alive even though by that point he should be just a normal human, a fucking badass normal human, absolutely, but still a normal human nonetheless. So Craven should pretty easily just be able to endure this and just beat her. Like I said, he fought and killed Electro, someone who already shoots lightning blasts and can dodge them, Craven, as well as Spider-Man to which Craven scales to and probably scales above on certain occasions. So yeah, so... Stormfront should be the second greatest threat, and she does put up a decently good fight, but ultimately Craven still does just win. And now, it's time we get to the man of the hour. The man with a milk fetish, where mommy won. The man who does whatever the fuck he wants. Homelander.
nastiest bastard! Due to his combination of superhuman abilities, including super strength, flight, invulnerability, heat vision, and enhanced senses, he is the most powerful character in the boys in general. Even when Soldier Boy tried to kill him, Homelander was still holding his own against him, and he was even well possessed his heightened senses like again as well, including superhuman hearing and sight, and what's just X-ray vision, allowing him to detect threats from great distances and quickly react to the danger coming his way. So without a doubt, Homelander would be the greatest challenge to Kraven. And hell, I would say that for this battle between Kraven versus Homelander, it could go either way, but I would have to talk about why for a little bit. For one, Kraven is clearly smarter than John because he is said by Spider-Man 2 of the game to be a genius strategist or is at least implied to be smarter than the villains from the first game. That is, including Dr. Octavius or Dr. Oedipus, who nearly succeeded in his plan to take over all of New York City. But Homelander just has far more powers and abilities on his side. So, who would win this? Well, more times than not, I would still say Craven would win. Now, there are some scenarios where Homelander could win by just, you know, spamming his heat vision, I guess. But then again, Craven would most likely be able to endure it because he should scale to other characters like Spider Man, a black suit Spider Man for specifically, who can combat Miles Morales and, or at least hold his own against him. And Miles Morales was able to endure forces that can pretty much vaporize the entire New York section of Harlem. So, yeah. Make putting him in the town levels or at least small town levels of attack frequency and durability. So these two do equal out when it comes to how much damage they can do to each other, but more times than not, I would have to say that Craven would eventually take this, albeit with a high amount of difficulty. And yeah, I do believe he would also take down Soldier Boy as well, because even though he does have his thing which can wipe the compound V out of a person, Craven doesn't have combat V in the system, so he just just wouldn't be affected by it at all, or at least, yeah. So, that is it. That is my video on Craven versus the Seven. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took me a little bit to make because, you know, I had to do some research on these guys because I haven't really watched the boys in a little bit. So, yeah, hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. I really do want to do more the versus battle like really content outside of Multiverse Wars. Don't get me wrong, I would still love to do Multiverse Wars for as long as I want to, but yeah, I would still like to branch out and doing other things with the versus battles content really in on this channel. So I hope you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. To see you later. I, I, I don't want to repeat myself. Just bye. Goodbye. Hope you have a good day. Goodbye.